Hey, this is Welcome back to another episode of Is It Worth It? So today's episode, we have this cool object right here. And pretty much what this is, is a USB-C meter. If you haven't seen for the one that we got right here from this brand. And literally what this product is, is a meter tester for USB-C. That probably got the voltage, the amp, and also probably the watts as well. Which is really convenient compared to the other one that I've been using. So for this one particular that I've been using for quite some time, it definitely provides a lot of data in terms of voltage and amp, but doesn't provide guys a watch, which is what I do need when I do test a lot like power bank, etc. So that is why I got this instead. So first thing I should open this up to show you guys what the inside looks like, and I will test it out a side by side comparison between this one versus this one. So I have to open up. Once you guys open up, inside right there we do have the product. If you guys do take it out, once you guys do take it out, this is what the product looks like. So right here in front is the screen. Here we do have the plug. If you guys do take out the cover, it is USB-C. And then for other side right here is where you can plug in USB-C cable. And right here in the back, they do have the brand name. On the bottom right here, they do have a button for the press. I'm assuming that button allows you to change different settings, but we'll test that out in a second. But that is everything that's on the product. Now let's plug it in to test it out to show you guys what actually works. So for this test, I'm gonna use this power bank that we do have in the Anchor brand that allow you to charge a laptop as well. So the front part right here, we do have the display screen. And top part right here is where you can plug in cable to recharge it. And you do have the option to use a USB-C option as input or output, which is really nice. So let's do plug it in. Once you guys do plug it in, the other side will plug it onto the device. So I'm using USB-C to USB-C cable to plug into my laptop. So right here, I do have my MacBook Air. If you have to plug it in. And other side plug it right here. So it looks like my laptop is completely dead. So I might take a few seconds to actually load. But you see, once you guys do plug it in, it does show you the data. So right now it's providing 19.88V and 3.43A and it's charging at 68 watt speed. If you can see right there. If you guys click on the button, let's see what happens. So it looks like pressing the button to change the different view from upside down to the other way. So that's actually pretty nice. But you see how it does show you guys everything that I do want. But for this one, when I use it, it does not provide the watts. Let me plug it in to show you guys what I mean. So I do plug it in. And this side I'm plugging right here. Once you guys do plug it in, that is what the screen looks like. So let me see how I show you guys the volts and also the amp, but it doesn't provide you guys the watts. And the one good thing about this product is the fact that it does give you guys the USB-C option or USB option, where for this one right here is only USB-C. So that is another thing to consider when you guys purchase this one or this one. But we see when we do test it out, it definitely does work. So regardless of which one you do get, both of them definitely does work. If you guys get the orange one right here, you do have to do your own calculation in terms of watts. Where for this one here, it does it for you, so it's much more accurate. And for this power bank, when you guys do use it, it does provide the stats on there already in terms of how much power that's being generated and also show you the battery percentage on there as well, which is really convenient. But that is everything that's on the product. Now to go unboxing and testing product. Now to end the question of whether or not it's worth it on. So for this product, I do have to say that it's pretty worth it if you guys want to need one of these, especially if you guys are in the market looking for a high quality meter tester for USB-C, that probably has the volt, the amp, and also the watts, then I do have to say that this one's actually much more worth it. <laughs> but then obviously for those you guys who don't want, or don't need one, or have one of these, that obviously don't buy one, and save your mind something else actually do need. So that's basically everything for this video itself. If you guys like this video, make sure to smash that like button in the bottom. That will definitely help this video out. And it will definitely help with the algorithm as well to promote more videos for you guys so you guys can see more of the videos or similar videos as well. But as always, make sure to stay positive, be you, and I'll see you guys in the next episode of Is It Worth It? Peace.